Hey guys, welcome back to another DCS video. I'm Venom, and today we are going over the AH-64D, the new multi-target tracker. Base, just base, it's it's something I did not know that was coming out today. It, I got on, there's an update, and then one of my friends told me that this this thing came out. So uh, this video is just me testing it out and figuring out what it's capable of. Just I just went in on the offline, just put a couple vehicles out there and um, binded the keys. I'm gonna show you guys how what keys they are. I'll probably pop them up. I'll, I'll just put them on screen right here so we can we can just get right into the video. But appreciate you guys coming in here and watching and enjoy the video. Hope you guys learned something. We're testing out the new tracking system for the Apache. And uh, I'm normally a CPG in the Apache, so this should be very, very cool. Uh, I'm gonna acquire the targets right now. There's two of them right there. I, I put in some more, but we'll just have to deal with these two. Oh, there they are. So, I binded it there. Ooh, okay. That's nice. Rifle. It's a very short video. I'll t um I'll show you guys what the bind is, so you guys know what to use. Shack target. That's really cool. All right, so the bind for the the uh, that lay that track system is LHG image auto track offset switch IAT center, and then LHG image auto track offset switch OFS center. So you can use either either or to do the uh the that auto that auto track i'm gonna test it against the helicopter in a second but for right now i'm just gonna keep practicing rifle it is tracking the helicopter that is cool that is really really cool This is big. This is huge for the Apache. The Apache is actually going to be able to go do a little bit air to air. Let's see if it hits. Shack KA50. That's amazing. All right. This, the Apache, is going to be very, 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 very powerful now. All right. And again, I'm going to go to the uh, controls. LHD image auto track offset switch IAT center. This is the one I've been using mostly. And that kind of like puts the box around it. And OF OFS center. The other one, which is this one, um, kind of deletes the uh, one one of the targets that is locked. So, so I'm gonna quickly just run through how to lock up targets and uh, lock up multiple targets and delete those tracks. So you cannot in the TV cam uh, camera you cannot. Uh, use the auto track because it's it goes off of heat, not re and you, and when you're in the TV camera, it does not use heat. Obviously, it's a TV camera. So right now, we're gonna go zoom in, um, and I would like to add that you are able to lock up to three targets at a time with this new system. Just wanted to add that in there. It's a three. I think it's a max three. I only got three targets locked up, so. Just so you guys know. He's just outside of the 
zone, so I can't lock him up. So, right now, we're going to hit OFS to reacquire number two. We're going to hit OFS again, and it'll delete the track. OFS again will bring us to number one, and hit OFS, it'll delete track. So, IAT to track, IAT to track, bring it off, OFS to bring it back to track. And then, once you're locked on and tracking, hit OFS again to delete track. And I'll bring it straight to the, the, to the next track. I'm learning as I go. I literally just got the update, so I'm figuring this stuff out. I'm just trying to show you guys how it's done. Now, um, we have, I have seen that it can lock on the helicopters. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. All right. Blackhawks locked up. And we're gonna lock up the K-50. All right. So it does work for helicopters, this auto track system. It does work for helicopters. I just deleted the K-50. We're gonna target the Blackhawk first. Drag it on with OFS. I have it on my notes to my right. Rifle. Now that's tracking. That's a good track right there. But it can, it can track multiple helicopters within a certain ra uh, field of view though. Shack or splash. That's a splash. Well, that's to undesignate. Bring it right. To, to lock on to that KA50. There's the KA50. Tracking. Lazing. Rifle. This is super powerful for the uh, for the Apache because it can in PvP it can go up against helicopters now. It used to not be able to. I do have one air-to-air -air kill with in the CPG seat. If you guys are one, if you guys want to see that clip, I can post that. But that was with the. Um, oh, I always forget what what it's called, but it's with the. Uh, linear motions compensation button. That's why I used the track a K51 time and I got an air to air kill, a PvP air to air kill. It was awesome. I was so hyped when that happened. But um, yeah, hey, so this is kind of like, uh, you know, a, a new new thing I've been playing with. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you guys learned something from it. And uh, good luck in, uh, good luck in DCS. Oh, and I do want to add tracking system. It does track planes. Right here, you can see I tracked a, a A10 when I was just, when I spawned the A10 out there. We were not able to shoot it down. We were not able to uh, hit it with a Hellfire, but we were able to track it. So it can do it. It's going to be difficult to shoot it down, but it can do it, which is really, really cool. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. I think the A-10 is a missile warning.